Hi guys! So about two weeks ago, más o menos, um, I posted this shorts video. Yeah, and a lot of you guys ended up liking it. Well, a lot more than what I thought. Because, you know, that video was supposed to be, you know, a makeup tutorial, but it wasn't supposed to be a quick five-minute thing. I just, last minute, I had to do something super quick, and it ended up being, like, a super good makeup look. So, I am here to show you guys that makeup look. So, this is my five-minute makeup tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. So it's gonna be a really easy makeup look. I mean, it is five minutes, so there's pretty much nothing to do. But right now, I just have to go and wash my face really quick so we can go ahead and start with the tutorial. So um, let me go wash my face and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back and my face is nice and clean, ready to be prepped. So, the moisturizer I use is the Red Bean Water Gel by Beauty of Joson. I think I think I heard someone say Joson, so I think that's what it is. So yeah, this one right here. And then for sunscreen, I am going to be using my favorite sunscreen. So the one that I always use, the Beauty of Joson sunscreen. Oh, Joson, Joson, jo Joson. Um, Relief Sun sunscreen. Okay, skin prep is on, you guys. I will never get over how my skin looks when I do my skin prep because, I mean, come on. You guys can literally see how glowy. It literally looks like glass skin. It looks really good. Okay, so after skin prep, I am going to go in with my blush. This is the Merit Blush Balm in this shade Persimmon. You guys know this is like my go-to blush. I love this blush so, so much. And for the brush, I am using the Morphe Cream and Liquid Blush M201. Blush brush. Then add some on our chin, just a tiny bit. Then right above our brows. I'm going to go in with a little more on my cheeks. You guys know I just really like super dramatic blush. Now I am going to go in with concealer. For concealer, I am going to be using the Faux Filter Concealer by Huda Beauty. This is in the shade 3.5N. And I'm just going to go in with a tiny, tiny bit. So guys, I've been trying to look for a new um, concealer. Because this one, honestly, I don't really like it that much anymore. Or I don't know if it's because I'm running out that I feel like it's getting drier. But... I mean, it is a more thicker concealer, you know, full coverage. And I'm kind of trying to avoid full coverage now because, I don't know, my skin is just not really taking it as good as I used to. But, okay, now with my concealer brush, this is the Hourglass Concealer Brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend my concealer. So, um, I've been trying to kind of just finish this concealer and... Try a new one out the one that i'm gonna i think i'm gonna try out is the mac radiant concealer it's it's new it just came out i'll post a picture of it right here on the screen so you guys know which one and i mean i've seen good things about it so i really want to try it but obviously i am just gonna wait for this one to run out because I've been trying to be better with my purchases. <laughs> Just smarter, you know? I don't need two concealers there because I know that if I buy the other concealer and I end up liking it more, I'm just gonna let this one go to waste and I don't want to let it go to waste. I want to actually finish it. Okay, concealer is on. For powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And to set my under eye, I'm gonna use this brush. This is the Morphe X Ariel A14 brush. I'm just trying to like pack in some powder in my brush. And then with that, we are gonna go ahead and set. Um, let me just make sure everything is blended. Okay. Okay, under eye is set. And with this brush, I just have a couple of concealer on it. A couple i just have a little bit of concealer on the brush just like whatever was left over from me blending and with that i am gonna apply a little tiny bit on my forehead 
and then a little bit on my eyelids. Then again with the same brush, I just grab a little bit of powder and set. Okay, then with whatever was left on my little tapa, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some with my brush. This is the Morphe X Ariel A3.2 brush and I'm just lightly dusting everything off on my face just like wherever I had um blush okay so this is what we have going on now I'm gonna go in with powders and for powders I do go in with a little bit of bronzer just because powder isn't that intense and I still want to you know have a little bit of color so I go in with bronzer and this is the physician's formula bronze butter bronzer in the shade deep bronzer then for blush i am using the uvs place volume 2 blush duo the pink one and this is the morphe v106 brush a little bit on my chin my nose and then right here the top of the brows i feel like i might have gone a little overboard with blush but um that's okay now i am gonna go in with a second blush uh this is the viso rubor in the shade coral and i am using the morphe x ariel brush 822 i know i just said i went a little overboard with blush but i feel like it's okay you know i feel like you know what what's gonna happen okay i am gonna lightly fill in my eyebrows for that i am using the anastasia powder brow duo in the shade ebony yes ebony and fill in just lightly okay that's good enough uh, i'm gonna do a little bit of brow gel this is anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel and I just use this one to comb my eyebrows, set them in place, and also just in case I went a little overboard with the powder, this kind of like blends it in together just so it doesn't look that harsh. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face and for that I am using the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist by e.l.f. Just a little bit of this. It doesn't need to be that much since we really didn't apply that many products. Okay, now we can curl our lashes. Oh my god, I almost forgot. I didn't apply alcohol. <gasps> no wonder. I was like, I'm missing something. Okay, let me go ahead and curl my lashes a little bit and apply mascara. And then I'll be back to do my lip combo with you guys. So yeah, let me just curl them real quick. Okay guys, I am done with my lashes. So now I am gonna do my lips. And for lips, I am just gonna be using, oh, it's not this one. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Cool Brown. And then for my lippy, I am using the Fenty Beauty High Shine Gloss Stick in Is It Fuzzy? I love this shade so much. I want to go get the, um, other one they have, I think it's like a little bit more pink. Uh, what is it called? Biscuit something, I think. I really, I really want to go get that one. Okay, just something light with the lip liner. And now the lippy. I love this so much. I am so happy I found these on TikTok. I saw this girl trying them out and they look so good on her. So I was like, you know what? I might as well try them for me. I think this is it, you guys. I am so happy. Okay, let me take my pasadores off. Okay, guys, this is it. What do you guys think? I think this is really good for five minutes. I mean, obviously, the video is longer, but it's a tutorial, so duh. But I literally did this in five minutes, guys. I was rushing that day. I was rushing so much. You guys have no idea. And it turned out this good, like... I was shocked, but okay, this is it for the tutorial, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I really hope you guys give it a like if you guys did. <laughs> and subscribe if you guys haven't so you guys don't miss another one of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and keeping up. And I really hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.